in December last year, on 10th to be specific, Raila Amolo Odinga held the last Azimio La Umoja meeting in Kasarani. And during that meeting, Raila Amolo Odinga made a major announcement that he was going to be on the ballot in 2022. And today, Raila Amolo Odinga has appointed Laikipia Governor Diritu Muiridi as the head of Raila Odinga's campaign board. He also appointed Elizabeth Ameo as the chief executive officer of that board. I want us to look at why Raila Amolo Odinga has appointed Muridi Diritu and Elizabeth Ameo. And for you to understand the departure, you need to go back and understand the kind of appointments Raila Odinga has always made in regards to his campaign secretariat. In 2007, during that election, Raila Odinga appointed Mohammed Isahia as the head of his campaigns. Raila Odinga had worked with Isahia during uh, Mwai Kibaki's era and they were friends for a long time. Then in 2013, Raila Odinga appointed James Ongwai as the head of his campaign secretariat. Then when Ongwai decided to go and contest in Kisi as the governor, Elido Walo took over. Elido Walo was the secretary general of Friends of Raila. In 2017, the head of Raila Odinga's campaign was Willis Otieno. Willis Otieno was basically single-handedly appointed by Jimmy Wajigi as part of his strategy to take control of that campaign. And if you look at previous appointments and today's appointments, there's a clear departure. Previously, Ray Ludinga used to appoint his friends, his uh, colleagues in the struggle, and maybe the people he has worked with before. Ray Ludinga is actually taking the biggest gamble by appointing the Ritu Muridi. Let me let us go to the appointment. The, 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 let us go to what the the I mean the statement by Raila Molodinga regarding these two appointments before I give you the details why Raila Odinga made these appointments. The letter the, the, the statement is dated uh, today. It says Appointment of His Excellency Niritu Muridi, Governor Laikipia, as Chair of Raila Campaign Board. The Governor of Laikipia, His Excellency Honorable Niritu Muridi, has been nominated and accepted to become Chair of the Board of Raila Odinga 2022 campaign. An economist and financial market expert, Governor Muridi, has over 29 years experience in leadership and management in Kenya, South Africa, Canada, and Australia. Governor Muridi was in, in, instrumental in the drive to have derelict Nairobi, Nanyuki, Gilgil, Nyaururu railway line rehabilitated. rehabilitated. He is the current finance, planning, and economic affairs committee chairperson of the Council of Governors elected in January 2021. Upon his election as the governor of Laikipia in 2017, Muridi embarked on radical reforms of the county's public service to make it professional and globally competitive. These efforts have been rewarded with unmatched growth of the county's own, own source on source review revenue, which has doubled since 2016-2017 financial year. Mr. Muridi, Muridi is also credited with modernizing key towns of Laikipia under his Smart Town Initiative funded partially by World Bank Urban Support and Devolution Support Program. He has also re refocused the country's public service to enterprise development to bridge the gap between 
development and positive social change. Under his leadership, over 1,600 local small and medium enterprises are undergoing incubation under the Laikipia Innovation and Enterprise Development Program, which he started in 2018. Now, that's about Muridi. Then there is the appointment of Elizabeth Mayo as the secretary to the campaign board. A very interesting appointment. According to the statement, the board of Railway Liga campaign is pleased to announce the appointment of Mrs. Elizabeth Mayo as the CEO of the campaign and secretary to the board. Mrs. Mayo, currently a consultant to the IMF, brings over three decades of administrative and strategic experience to the position. She is the immediate former commissioner of domestic tax, taxes department at KRA. During her tenure at the KRA, Elizabeth was pivotal in KRA's policy and strategy development for the country. She spearheaded the rollout of ITAX, which has revolutionized revenue collection in Kenya. Mrs. Sameo hold masters in law and masters in finance as well as being corporate governance expert. Mrs. Sameo will be the overall chief executive of the campaign, implements its strategy, strategic and key decisions, head the campaign secretariat and make all vital decisions. She will be the sole campaign spokesperson. So the only person who will be speaking on behalf of Raila Odinga's campaign will be Elizabeth. But why is that appointment important? Why do you think the appointment of Miridi and Ameo important? In my view, it is important because of the following reason. Number one, for the first time in the history of Raila Odinga, he's actually ceding control of his campaigns to outsiders in quotes. Previously, Raila Odinga's campaigns were always about friends, family, allies, who have been now given a backseat. Ray Odinga has been in the trenches for a long time. It was the first time I was seeing the Riti Muridi in Ray Odinga's campaign. I'm seeing Elizabeth for the first time. That cannot be said of the previous heads of campaigns or heads of uh, Raila Odinga strategy. There are always people who are known. For the first time, Raila Odinga is bringing in outsiders. These outsiders are either going to deliver the presidency to Raila Odinga, or if they are not going to deliver, Raila Odinga has taken the biggest gamble. He's going to fail with them. So I think Raila Odinga has decided for the first time to do things differently. Not the usual way he has been doing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do a separate video about Governor Diriti Muridi and why, for example, Raila Odinga reached out to him. When Raila Odinga wanted someone to take him to the larger Mount Kenya region, Diriti Muridi was ready to do that. And the first meeting outside the... Uh, the first Azimio meeting was actually held in Laikipia. That was the biggest gamble for, by anybody. This guy was elected as the governor in the last election, as an independent candidate in a, in, in a county which was predominantly jubilee. Laikipia was jubilinated, but elected as an independent governor. How many independent governors do you know we have in this country apart from Miridi Ndiriti? So it means there's something he understands about strategy, planning, tact, and those are what he's bringing. And Raila Odinga has looked for those rather than going for people who are always with him. Number two, I think Raila Odinga is also keen on trying to avoid the people who will betray him at last minute. You know, Governor Deritu would be much more interested in Raila Odinga's presidency than any other thing. If you compare to the rest in the previous elections, Raila Odinga's campaign has always been penetrated. 
Now you look at Elizabeth Mayo. Elizabeth Mayo, the lady from Seme. Now this lady is a technocrat. Ronald Odinga is bringing a serious technocrat with experience over 30 years coming on board and Ronald Odinga is making it very clear that this is this person will be the sole spokesperson of the campaign. <laughs> So I think Ray Lodinga doesn't want a situation where he brings on board people who are going to be trained. Number three is the Mount Kenya factor. 2022 general election will be determined in Mount Kenya. Who is going to win Mount Kenya? And by what percentage? Will Mount Kenya pump money into the campaigns? But how can Rilo Dinga assure the larger Mount Kenya region that they will be part of his team? Begin by appointing one of them to head your secretariat. William Ruto has gone for Nanok. Most people had expected that William Ruto was going to go for someone from the larger Mount Kenya region. He opted for Nanok because Nanoks come from Rift Valley and a marginalized community, which means he can easily manipulate Nanok. But Redo Dinga has gone for Muridi Diriti, Diritu, someone who comes from the larger Mount Kenya region, a former member of parliament, a former assistant minister. So I think Mount Kenya factor also played a key role. So it's going to assure Mount Kenya that they are part and parcel of this campaign. So if there's anybody who is in doubt about contributing his money, they'll put it there. And the person who will manage that money is Elizabeth Ameo, an experienced technocrat with the best experience. Number four, in my view, is that Raila Dinga was also looking at, to tap into Mwai Kibaki's team and former allies. Sorry, he's looking at tapping into Mwai Kibaki's team and former allies. We all know that Mwai Kibaki was the president of the Republic of Kenya before Uhuru Kenyatta. So there are people who supported Mwai Kibaki, still active in politics, they don't know where to go to. By appointing Muridi Ndiritu, who was part of Mwai Kibaki's team, and a nephew to Kibaki, it means those people can easily now reach out to Raila Odinga's campaign. In my view, I look at it from that perspective. I don't know much about Elizabeth and her relationship with Kibaki, but the mere fact that she's been, uh, been uh, one of the key players, head of uh, domestic tax at Kare, means probably she was even appointed during Kibaki era. So the, in my view, Raila Odinga is trying to tap into the Kibaki team. Those who supported Kibaki can now join his team through Nderitu. Those who worked with the Kibaki can now join the team through Elizabeth. And lastly, and lastly, I tend to think that Relu Dinga for the first time wants to professionalize his campaigns. He doesn't just want to pick people because you are a friend to who, you are related to who, through what, you know, Previously, Raila Odinga's campaign has always been accused of being favoring a specific group of people, either relatives, 